Welcome to the first Ruby programming tutorial. I'm teaching bash programming uh, by starting with a programming language like Ruby to teach basic programming concepts. So this will get you proficient in basic Ruby, but it will also prepare you to learn uh, a language that's a little more complicated, that has a little more special cases, um, and is a little stranger looking, such as bash. So here we are. This video presumes only that you have IRB and Ruby installed. So if you have a ver version of Ruby like this, uh, you can proceed. Otherwise, uh, watch the last video or simply Google how to install Ruby on your operating system. I'm working on Linux, uh, but it really shouldn't matter once you have Ruby installed. We're not going to do anything that's platform dependent. IRB is interactive Ruby. It's an interactive Ruby shell. It works sort of like bash. You type a command in, 4 times 4, and it gives you an answer back after processing your command. So you can see we asked it, what is 4 times 4? And it says, hang on, let me think. And when it's done thinking, it says, arrow, little hash arrow. Here's your answer, 16. So this is really important. It works a lot like any other command interpreter. You give it something, and it processes what you give it and gives you something back. This is how we're going to start learning Ruby, although most code that you're going to end up writing will be in scripts, that is a text file that has line after line of code that's all sort of interpreted from top to bottom and inside to out. Bear with me, we'll use IRB for probably the next two or three videos, and then we'll write some small scripts. Just so you know what's going to happen is, if we go to desktop and we'll make the Ruby, We'll get in there, you can see it's a brand new empty directory, and we'll say nano my script. We can say, we can do the same thing. We want to print this to a standard output, so we'll say print four times four, that's exactly what we just did. We'll move, sorry, my script to my script rb, so we know it's a Ruby file, and then we just say Ruby execute my script. Kablam, 16. See, I just did a print, not a puts, so I don't get a new line, it just prints 16 and then immediately gives me my bash prompt back. Lovely. We're going to write stuff that's a little bit more complicated than that, but like I said before, we're simply going to work in IRB. So let's go back there. Here we are again. So we've now used our thousands of dollars and hundreds of years of development of mathematics and transistors and computational power to act like a big ass expensive calculator. Congratulations. I want to show you some basic types to start with so that we can do some more advanced stuff that is less calculator like and more cool. Basic types. You've already seen, like in this case, a number. You can do all the operations that you are used to. Remember to use parentheses, uh, order of operations applies. So you can say four times, you know, 3 minus 8, whatever, multiply a negative. It's a, you can use it as a calculator. There's another type that's called a string, and you can think of that as a string of text. A string is, well, an example is a string of text. You can say this is a string. It's something that's got double quotes around it or single quotes around it. There are some slight differences to these, even though right now they're basically the same thing, but we'll get to that later. So you've got numbers and strings, arrays, which you can think of as a list, and that looks like this. One, two, three, four. So this is a, a list, it's called an array in Ruby. You have these square brackets, they're above your enter key, and inside the items, it's just like a list that you would imagine in your intuition. There are comma-separated items. It returns itself when you create it. There's one more type that we're going to sort of look at in more depth in a later video, and that's called a, a hash. You might have, if you're coming from a different programming language, it's, it could be a dictionary, a dict, a hash map, what have you. But it's basically, the syntax is curly brackets. So make some curly brackets. And then you can say item one maps to the number one, let's say. 
item two maps to two. And that it really I like the word dict to describe this because it really is a dictionary in a in a way. It maps one value to another one. So these are your basic types of data that you're going to be working with most frequently. You have plain old numbers, you type them in like a number, you can multiply them around like a number, you can do all those things that you imagine doing with numbers, keep it PG. You've got strings, which you'll use to represent text. You've got arrays, which are your lists, so when you need a list of something, you use an array. And when you need sort of a definition, you know, key value store, you're going to use a hash that hashes these pairs together. So they're your basic types for Ruby. I'm going to show you some operations for all of them in the next video.